Are you ready for Inktober? I'm going to show you in this video how to create these two sketchbooks from scratch with the paper you want. There's no binding and no stitching involved and they are perfect for the Inktober challenge. So let's go! For this project you will need paper, scissors, a knife, pencil, eraser, a ruler, fabric and glue. I'm starting by separating the paper from the pad. For this project I'm using 8 sheets of A4 paper. Then I'm separating the front cover from the back. I am measuring out how big I want my sketchbooks to be. In this case, one sketchbook will be 5 by 5 inches and the other one will be 5 by 3 inches. Then I cut them out and save them for later. Next up is measuring up the paper the same size as the front and back covers, which is 5x5 five five inch and 3x5 inch. This means per sheet of paper you have two pages to your book. Leave at the end a half inch flat so you can stick the pages together. Cut the paper lengthways. Now you can score the cut pages on the 5 and 10 inch marks. If you don't have a scoring board, then go ahead and fold the pages on the marks. You can see I'm using a bone folder, but this is not necessary. You can also use a ruler. Now that the pages are all folded, you can start gluing them together with the short flaps to the new page. When you're done, it should look like this. You can cut off the end flap, as we don't need that for the rest of the book. Now follow the same steps for the smaller book. Your books, without the covers attached, should look like this. We're now going to decorate the cover with fabric. Position where you want the fabric to be with the pattern you want on the book. Put glue on the cardboard, spread it out so it's not too thick. And place the fabric on the cardboard. Cut the fabric to size. Cut the corners diagonally. Put some glue on the cardboard and stick the corners down. When the corners are stuck down, you can glue down the sides of the fabric to the cardboard. And then for the final step of the front cover, you can attach the front cover Repeat the same step for the back cover and the smaller sketchbook. You can also use paper to decorate your sketchbooks. And that is all there is to it. I hope you liked this DIY project. If you did, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified whenever there is a new video online. I post every Friday and sometimes there is an extra video like this one on Tuesday. For the month of October, I will be posting every day for the Inktober challenge on top of my normal posting schedule. See you all on Friday. Bye!